All right, hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and today I'm going to take a look at Beatmaker 3 and how to sample um, onto the different pads quickly and easily from you know pretty much anything. I'm going to use uh, DM1 just because it's got some pretty cool uh, you know acoustic drum sounds that I want to get into Beatmaker 3. And so what I'm going to do is I just load it up in the plug-in slot. And then from this slot right here, you can, uh, even though I'm on, on, I'm on pad 1, I don't have to sample to pad 1. I can scroll up and down to whatever pad that I want to sample on and uh, use it. But um, also, um, where was I going with that? Yeah, I don't have to sample with... Uh, to the pad that I'm on, I can sample to any pad. And this next feature right here, move to next pad, turn it on, and what it'll do is each time you hit start and stop, it'll automatically jump to the next pad. And so it can make sampling instruments like this really, really quickly, especially if you are controlling DM1 via the uh, in, um, internal keyboard right here. And so, I just went here and went MIDI, selected notes from Beatmaker 3, and then inside this bank, I went to MIDI setup. Um, I did that earlier, but it seems to not matter um, with that as much. So. Alright, so I got Destination 1, Pad destination pad one next pad on and I hit start I hit the and then I just go to the next one oops I didn't let that one ring out because I'm just kind of showing you how to, how to do it. And so if you wanted uh, another drum for from another kit, um, say the uh, say the black kit. Ooh, that kick's kind of that's a good kick. All right, and so we go back. So there you have it. I mean, that's pretty quick and simple, um, and already building up a um, a drum kit. And then from here, you know, it's always a good idea once you're done with the plug-in to unload the plug-in. That way, you're not causing any kind of weird issues. But you can go in and start messing around with the sample. You can start tuning it, doing all the do all the fun stuff, adding some filters, doing some modulation. Um, you can add choke groups. So if I want these two in a choke group, and then I can just do choke group. So it's pretty uh pretty simple. Unlike I have where I accidentally hit that other mark there, I can just drag that over. so simple so anyway thanks for watching hopefully this helps um, with uh, you know quick and easy uh, building up some drum samples into uh, Beatmaker 3 or you know you could even do this with other things with like with just loops or anything like that so alright guys uh, thanks for watching uh, like comment subscribe I do have a patreon if you're into that sort of thing if not just continue to just like and share my videos and I will talk to you guys later.